It's pouring rain in upstate New York right now. It's ridiculous. So sorry if the quality of the audio is not good. Um, I really want to talk about this potential Jordan Matthews uh, possible trade nonsense that's going on, okay? Jordan Matthews is not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. Okay, Jordan Matthews is an established wide receiver. He's he's proven himself constantly that he's a starting wide receiver for the Philadelphia Eagles. Like I don't understand why people are just taking so many shots at this guy because Nelson Aguilar is doing good at OTAs. It doesn't make any sense to me. All these Twitter handles and Instagram videos and Facebook posts and all this nonsense saying that Aguilar is flourishing at, in, in training means absolutely nothing. It absolutely means nothing. Okay? Nelson Aguilar is not good as a wide receiver. He's entering his, what, third year? Since what, 2015, so 16, 17, so technically it's his third year. Nelson Aguilar has literally done nothing but destroy the Philadelphia Eagles offensively. Nothing. Jordan Matthews has established himself as the best wide receiver for the Philadelphia Eagles since Macklin was there. And when and when Djax was there. I just don't understand why people are getting or acting like this for Aguilar. Okay? And I hate when I have to keep talking about Aguilar. I hate it. Okay? Nelson Aguilar does not deserve a spot on the Philadelphia Eagles roster. He will be cut next year. It's The only reason why we keep him is because we don't want to take the cap hit. I'm so upset right now because of this. Okay? Doug Peterson impressed with Aguilar's slot receiving skills. Doug Peterson impressed with da-da-da. Okay, Doug Peterson also is impressed with Jason Kelsey, but he's a shitty he's a shitty center. Okay? Doug Peterson's impressed with Leotis McKelvin's cornerback skills. Dude's trash! It, Jordan Matthews is a very good wide receiver, and people just think because he's injured, okay, if there is even a shred of doubt, like if there's even, a, a, if we ever even thought about trading him, people are saying, oh, we'll get a fourth or fifth round pick for him, he's worth it. Jordan Matthews is completely worth a second or third round pick right now. This guy is that good, okay, as a wide receiver. He, he's so he plays so well to his position aside from his injuries and yes people are going to be like oh you're upscaling him he's obviously not that good okay but look look at the receivers for the eagles okay besides macklin deshaun jackson and jordan matthews who's produced for us riley cooper come on man Riley Cooper, Doriel Green Beckham, Bryce Treggs, Paul Turner, Zach Ertz. Okay, Jordan Matthews is 100% better than every single receiver that I just said. And people are saying that Jordan Matthews needs to be gone because Nelson Aguilar is doing decent <laughs> in training camp. I honestly feel like acting like EDP right now and just going off on a crazy rant. But even I don't have that kind of respect to do that for Aguilar. The dude is just not good. He's not good. I don't know how many times I can talk about Nelson Aguilar anymore. I I don't know. I would take 
and we all know that I love Doriel Greenbacken more than Aguilar. He can flourish more in our offense. Okay, Doriel Greenbacken, everyone's calling for his head too, but when it really came down to the situation, when it came down to it, I would rather have Doriel Green Beckham than Nelson Aguilar, okay? With his nonsense where he can't perform in the big lights and he has head issues and he has, you're paid to be a wide receiver in the NFL, okay? Let me just ask. Let me just ask every Eagle fan that wants Nelson that wants Nelson Aguilar over Jordan Matthews. When it comes down to it on Sunday night or Monday night, and the game's on the line, and we need to throw a touchdown pass, who are you going to choose, Nelson Aguilar or Jordan Matthews? Like, come on, it's a no-brainer. How? When it comes down to first and ten. Who are you going to throw the ball to, Nelson Aguilar or Jordan Matthews? And people are really saying Nelson Aguilar. Nelson Aguilar, our number one slot receiver this year. Is that even a thing? Is that the fact that I said those words in a sentence baffles me? Baffles me, dog. And nothing against the guys in the Philly Knights group chat because. Uh, some of them do like Nelson Aguilar over Jordan Matthews. And I'm not taking shots at them because I appreciate. I obviously value their opinion. They're my friends. But at the end of the day, man, who do you really want? Nelson Aguilar or Jordan Matthews on your team? Because if we lose Joe, if we lose Jordan Matthews, and we trade him to. Let's just say Pittsburgh, Detroit. The Texans. Any of those teams that are just a little bit in need of a wide receiver, Jordan Matthews will flourish. He will flourish. And now we actually have a decent, we have a quarterback in Carson Wentz that can do that. I'm just, it just really irritates me, man. It just really, really does. I, I honestly think this is my last video about Nelson Aguilar. Okay. My question to Nelson Aguilar is, is are you really going to do what you say you're going to do? Are you really training that hard? Oh well, because we have good wide receivers now. Nelson Aguilar is, is playing, is is practicing better. Nelson Aguilar is practicing better. It's complete bullshit. It's OTAs. It's mini camp. Okay, throw me out in the field with no pads. Okay, and Ron Brooks is injured ass guarding me, and I can probably catch a ball. I'm just so irritated of it. I'm done. I don't want to talk about Nelson Aguilar anymore. This video has gone on way too long for me to even give a crap anymore. And Nelson Aguilar, you are not better than Jordan Matthews. You will never be better than Jordan Matthews. If Jordan Matthews gets traded because they have faith in you, man, Doug Peterson has some big old floppy balls, okay, because he's putting a lot of goddamn faith in you, man, and I'm a firm believer in faith, okay, but it's a big difference when it comes to Sunday night when we're playing the Cowboys at 8.30, okay, in, in, at Lincoln Financial Field, and you can't catch a two-yard slant route catch, okay, by Carson Wentz with no coverage, okay? I'm off it. Go Philly Knights. Go Birds. Don't hashtag. Don't trade Jordy Matthews.